Florida Governor Rick Scott is facing mounting pressure to veto a controversial K-12 education bill. School boards, superintendents, PTSAs, teachers, editorial boards. It seems everybody wants him to defy the legislature on this one. Everybody, that is, except for the profiteers who stand to make a fortune off the bill. Like Hialeah Representative Manny Diaz, who earns six figures as a charter school executive. And Miami Representative Mike Beleka, who chairs the House Education Committee. Even House Speaker Richard Corcoran has his hand in this cookie jar. These three legislators were chief architects in the passage of a $419 million education bill that takes away millions of dollars from public schools to expand the charter school industry in Florida at taxpayer expense. They crafted the most important parts of Education Bill HB 7069 in secret, acting in possible violation of the open government laws the legislature is perennially seeking to weaken. There was no debate allowed and educators all across the state were left without a voice in the process. The bill redirects $140 million away from all already underfunded neighborhood schools, waives teacher certification and zoning requirements for charter schools, undermines local school board authority, and expands school vouchers. The Miami Herald is reporting a groundswell of public outrage over the bill. Thousands of Floridians have emailed or called the governor asking him to veto the bill, but the charter school industry isn't just sitting by quietly. Some school choice advocates in South Florida are going so far as to offer incentives to parents in order to amplify the perception of public support. Each of the email and text alerts also linked to a pro HB 7069 petition on change.org set up by the ACE Foundation, an organization that supports charter schools and is closely linked to Academica. Miami Republican Senator Anitere Flores, who voted in favor of HB 7069, is the foundation's development director. The governor is refusing to say whether he'll sign the bill, which hasn't yet reached his desk. Insiders say the speaker is stalling until summer vacation in hopes of diffusing opposition. The governor will then have 15 days to either sign or veto the bill before it becomes law. If you found the information in this video helpful, go ahead and share it with a friend. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you can find me again next week.